Welcome to Loch Loran, one of Washington County's best kept secrets. Let me tell you about one of Washington County's other best kept secrets, citizen advocacy. When citizen advocacy asked me to do this video, I was more than happy to say yes. Unfortunately, I didn't know a lot about citizen advocacy. You see, for years, this program flew under my radar. And that's a shame, because what they do, we need in this community. You see, I'm here to tell you that this best kept secret should be on everyone's radar screen. But rather than tell you what I've learned about citizen advocacy, let me introduce you to Sandy and Jenny and let them do the telling. Sandy and Jenny met for the first time at Dairy Queen about eight years ago. Jenny was in an unstable marriage and had a son with a disability of his own. Jenny also had housing issues that needed to be addressed. Although Sandy hasn't been able to solve all of Jenny's problems, just being there to listen has been helpful. Sometimes what's said over a cup of coffee is far more helpful than knowing all of life's problems will be solved. Once Sandy was introduced to Jenny, she immediately began to provide Jenny with the support she needed. Getting through the rough spots was all Jenny was looking for. I believe I first heard about it through the um, Abuse Family Organization. Um, I had met somebody through that organization, and then when I was looking to do something different with my life, she was telling me about citizen advocacy. And she had given me information on certain um, people that were looking for advocates. None of that panned out, and then it was months later that they had given me the information on Jenny. And we met together at Dairy Queen in West Bend. And that's when we had our first talk together over ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> and that was very fun. Yeah, that was good. Learned about each other's likes and dislikes and each other's family and their situations. And we just kind of blossomed after that. Yeah. And it just, we really hit it off really nice. Well, I had a child and I was a single mom at the time before I knew about citizen advocacy. And I was struggling at that time with working as a single mom. And uh, I was separated from my husband. And I had problems financially and emotionally and spiritually. And when I found out about citizen advocacy, it brought me a sense of, um, I want to say purpose, and I was struggling, you know, mentally mostly on how to resolve a lot of issues that I never had to face before. That's when Sanya came in and she had helped me at that point and brought me out. And uh, I could say that Susan was my salvation because it brought me in a different environment and a positive environment and uplifted me. As time has gone by, some of Sandy's friends have become Jenny's friends, and Sandy's interests and activities have become Jenny's. When we share our friends and our lives, what more precious gift can we give to someone else? Coffee. She got me hooked on coffee, quite truthfully. Cappuccino. I was never a coffee drinker. She loves the lattes and stuff, and I'm one mm -hmm. of these people like, why do you pay all that money for coffee when you can make instant coffee at home for pennies? Well, then we, that was one of the things we started doing, so just try this. Okay, that's good. She has been there for my daughter from the beginning, from when I was pregnant, she'd bring me little gifts, too, when on occasion I need a babysitter, she would watch Callie. So her and Callie yeah. have grown to be very close, too. I feel like an aunt to her. her. Yeah. I think one of your biggest um, personality traits, like you're, what you're good for, is like Callie always says it too. She's like, you know, that Jenny's always happy. You know, <laughs> she'd come over and she'd play with Callie because she loves to play. I like to and play. She, and they would play games and they would color. And Callie was just like, you know, in heaven because she's got Jenny to 
to play with or go outside and push her on the swing because I'm in yeah. there working. I'd have to call her and Jenny, it's time to come in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and David really was a lot of work. Jenny did. You know, actually, I mean, she really did a great job raising him because he has special needs and it was 24 7 nonstop taking care of a child with special needs. And that was her world. You know, so she could just go into just... a different atmosphere. I would stay and watch David and, and know what her world was for a snippet of time. And what, it was just amazing. People, you just so underestimate what a normal life is for people that don't have a normal life. So for me personally, it just made me be appreciative, be, um, I don't want to say in awe of, but just know that there's people that they're not asking for the world. They're just asking for a little help, just a friend, just mm -hmm. somebody to call up and say, you know what, I've had a really crappy day. <laughs> My biggest thing that I feel this agency is different than so many other ones, it helps, you know, there's a fine line between people with, with special needs that will get a certain amount of help from other agencies to people that they don't want all that help. They just need somebody else in their corner. I don't want to make it trite and say it's a friendship thing because it's so much more than that because it's a genuine need. These, you know, there's people that can function on their own, like Jenny. She holds a job. She, she mm -hmm. raised her son. She contributes to the community. But had she not had somebody to pull her out and say, let's do this, they would never do it. And unless you have an organization that gives you that tool to do it, those people will remain isolated. You know, we've been through a lot, I think, yeah. in that 10 years. And both, she's been through her Moved. mother's death, yep. my son's death. I've been through two deaths with my two special needs children. And uh, it has taken a lot out of me. Yeah. But uh, through Sandy's support and CA and my faith in God, that is getting me through. Just helped me to develop into a different person, have more confidence and strength about myself with my child. And so it it kind of became my family. Sandy to me, she's like a second mom to me. <laughs> advocacy, citizen advocacy, is a natural response for the friendships we are longing to have. And that's why I believe that it is one of the best kept secrets in Washington County. And this is one secret I personally hope all of Washington County has a chance to experience and understand. Since the future of hundreds of developmentally disabled youth and adults hangs in the balance, hopefully it's one secret that won't be a secret much longer. <laughs>